Have you ever wanted to have a little more control over your 3D text? Well, now you can with the new Filmora 12. Right here under Titles, there is a new category called 3D Titles. There's about 35, 40 titles here that you can use, and now you can customize. We will pick one of them at random and work with it. So I can show you some of the features. This is called 3D Grass. I just need to do a quick download on it. Anything that has this red diamond in it means that's an upgraded feature. The ones without it means they come free with Filmora. No additional subscription needed. And as you can see, most of them, at least half of them, are, are free. You can always go right here under All and choose Free or Paid. I, I just have All on by default. So let's look at what happens with 3D titles. First off, your screen may look different than my screen. I am using the default workspace. Workspaces are chosen right here. If you want to work on a, a timeline, it'll shrink this box and give you more timeline. But for this case, I want to see more of the properties. So I want to so you can see everything at once. So we're going to start with 3D grass, and it does look like grass. So you can see what it does. It does a fly in, and then it stops. On your first screen here under Titles, 3D Basic, this is where you can change your text. Oh, like always, you can change your font, whatever you want. That one's a cool font, and your size. Back it down a little bit. Go vertical if you want. And of course, you can always put it in italic. Let's just skip that section for a second. Down here under Transform, you have Scale and Position. So if you're trying to place this text pretty precisely into something in your video, you can use the scale instead of the font size. And let's reset that back. Oops, let's bring it back down a little bit. That's pretty big. And you can also just choose the position by click left-clicking your mouse and dragging back and forth inside of there. Let's talk about these 3D material presets. And we'll open them up right here with that button. And you can see there's a lot of them in here. So you can start with grass and then you can move. I'll pick one that I've already downloaded. Then you can move into um, something different if you want. That one's a nice one. If you move over here to 3D animation and look at the top section, it says animation in. Scroll down, you can see that we're currently using a 3D fly down and rotate. You can change this into whatever you want. Let's try that one. Ooh, I like that one. This is animation out. There is currently no out. I'm going to scroll across. So it comes in and freezes. But let's do a little out. Now, we don't have quite as many choices for out, but let's do a zoom away and rotate. And there it goes. Okay. And just to zoom away. I like to rotate. Let's rotate it. Now this rotation is 360 degrees. This rotation is more of a left to right kind of thing. Under video, now we've got basic and animation. Okay. Animation, now we can fade in, vortex out. We can really get it pretty um, precise and specific here. So this is all to do with the animation part of it, not the text part of it. You can really manipulate that animation. Okay, we're gonna go back over to titles. Now I wanted, there's one more section we can go to, and that's advance. And under advance, you'll notice you got two different colors on the timeline here, and you can pretty quickly see what's, what they mean. Okay. Okay, so look very closely. This is the fly-in. 
see a little little shadowy going across and that is the fly out right there so you can take this and drag it so let's say we really don't want any of that happening we want more of that happening you change it right here and these are durations we're not changing anything but a duration so let's see how it took a lot longer for it to come in now we're going to change that duration so it's in already right there so you got you can see what's happening we've got some presets again customize uh, this is really just an alignment and then back to that animation again and the only real true advantage you get here is the ability to customize your durations of your animations in and out uh, you can do it by clicking in this field or you can just drag over here and then you can save it as a custom if you like if you if you got something you really really like you can save it. there you go this is 3d titles 3d titles it's new with filmora 12 and as you can see it is very 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 customizable let's go ahead and put one of those 3d titles on top of some video real quick so this is uh, obviously it's plane landing so let's use that one back to titles back to 3d titles and let's choose one that they, we think would look pretty good on um to go with an airplane landing you need to be careful not to choose one with its own background because it will overwrite this background so we don't want to do that this white light flow title will look good against this dark sky so let's go ahead and grab that, let's download it, let's go ahead and stretch it all the way across. Let's first just see what it's going to look like. It's very nice. So let's click on it, drag it up out of the way, get over to 3D Basics, um, just scale it up a little bit. Using my keyboard now to, to uh, get exactly what I want. I'm going up, 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 up with my keyboard. It's much easier than your mouse. Make sure you guys try that. Your left, right, up, down keys. When you have something highlighted and you want to get it very precise, and we'll just say incoming. And, uh, go ahead and slide this over a little to the right. That looks great. Okay, what we want to do is I want to have this fade in a little bit. We're going to go over to the animation. We currently notice there's no in and no out. Um, so I want to have this kind of fly in effect. That one's real nice. Now, do we want this to also fly out? Let's find out what we want here. So what we'll do is we're going to split this title. That lets us go through and change the text to something. Flight 201, I don't know. And uh, so what we got going on now is incoming. Flight 201. Let's reduce that font a little bit. And let's go ahead and do a fly out on that one. Like so. That looks good. We fly out right there at the end. That's it. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoy these new features and these videos. We'll see you soon. Make sure you click that like button for me. Subscribe to the channel. Please leave some comments. I try to answer everyone the best I can. And we'll see you real soon on the next video.